Salutations everyone and welcome to another Rise Magic Top 5. I'm Chandler Henry and today we're going over top 5 color changes that you need to know about. Now first, let's start off with number 5. Personally, I'm going to go with the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Oh shoot, top 5 card color, like magic, like card color changes. Alright, I got you, I got you. Top 5 color changes coming right up. Alright, so for real, coming in at number 5, we have the C3 color change. Now what C3 stands for is center color change. The reason it's called the center color change is because you have three cards, one on each side, which means there's probably one in the middle. Now what that middle could also be referred to is the center. All right, over explaining aside, this change is sick because you can do it multiple times in a row with the same minimal movement motion that makes it look like you're doing nothing to make the color change happen, which is the mark of a good color change. Now I personally have never really done this for people live, because it's kind of hard to set up, but as you can tell, it's killer for Instagram magic, for camera magic, anything of that sort. If someone wants to put something sick on Snapchat, it's got great angles, you can see it the whole time, and you can do it, like I said, depending on how good you get at it, multiple times in a row and end with a sick vanish. So if you want to learn some color changes that you can do in person live, stick to the other changes I mentioned in this video, but this one is one of the absolute best you can do in front of a camera. This is one you can definitely pop on your IG, Snapchat, you know, face tweet, Skype jam sesh. It'll get you some clout. If you wanna learn, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, full transparency though, I do not like lying to you guys. This thing was all the rage on Instagram like two years ago and I kinda just learned it by watching other people do it. But if you want really good teaching, I'll leave the purchase link in the description. Coming in at number four, we have the LeBron change. Well, actually it's called the GOAT change, but you know, GOAT and LeBron are so interchangeable in my brain. Sometimes it's easy to mess them up. So reasons I put this at number four. Sick name, the goat change, the greatest of all time change, sick. Two, it sounds really cool because you snap your fingers when it happens and we all know snapping causes actual magic to take place. And three, it just flat out looks cool. If you wanna learn it, it was created by Dan and Dave, so I'll leave the link to their tutorial in the description. Coming in at numero tres, we have the snap change or how I like to refer to it as the Snapchat change. Now the reason I say this, because the Snapchat change is obviously a classic and magic that all magicians know, but I use it for something else entirely different and that's why I think you should learn it. Now, I'm sure we've all been in the position where we're performing magic and you see these, these girls, you know, these girls and like these guys whip out their phone and they start, they start freaking Snapchatting, like Doo, 15 seconds on my story. <laughs> Although Instagram stories kind of taken over, follow us at Rise Magic. But what I'm saying is, you're just doing some simple routine that doesn't really come across well on camera. Why you should know the snap change is so you turn to that person who's got their phone out and you say, Hey yo, bro, you want to put something cool in your story? You want to get that clout? I got you. Do the snap change for the camera, everyone freaks out. And since they're viewing the snap change through their Snapchat filter lens, you know what I'm saying? It looks sick. So what I'm saying is in this day and age of social media, you should know that color change because it comes across so well on camera. And I have no problem with showing people how it's done just for that camera. So we kind of have like an inside moment with your spectators because they get to put something cool on their social media and you get the benefit of free advertising on your friend's Snapchat story who has 82 friends. Added bonus for this change, you have a ton of versatility. I've seen people do this with so many different variations. You can take a card, change it to a coin, change it to a dollar bill. You can use the same mechanics for this trick for almost absolutely everything. And in fact, if you want to learn it, I got a tutorial for it on this YouTube channel. I made it about a year ago today. Not only do I teach you the snap change, I teach you how to clean it up properly so you can do it live and in person, what I do a lot. And I teach you the variation where you can split a card in half and still end clean. It's one of the first tutorials we made for Rise Magic. I really hope you check it out. I put a lot of work into it about a year ago today. Started the whole thing. All right, go watch that now. Now coming in at number poo poo. Um, <laughs> that's not even funny. Uh, <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> now coming in at number two, we have the Erdnays change. Now what's great about this change is as you can tell, it can be used for multiple different things. 
Now, you can use it to change a card, as you can see right here, but what we like to use it for is a card vanish, which is a great way to melt Heckler's brains off when you use it for the invisible palm magic trick, which we, in fact, have taught on this here YouTube channel. Grant taught this trick called the invisible palm, and if you want to learn the Ernay's change, he teaches it on that video. This vanish is incredible, and I would say you gotta learn it, because once you learn it, you obviously know how to do the color change as well. You follow what I'm saying? Now the great thing about this color change is for you beginners out there, the reason I put it so high is because in order to get the change across, you don't have to be crazy good at it because your hand's covering all the action. It's a very fail-safe trick, you know what I'm saying? I believe in you. Now, even though it's a beginner move, I don't know if you guys have seen, there are some people who are insane at the Erdnage change. They can basically just do it with a flash of their hand or the deck. I'm not that skilled, nor that intelligent. So, let's move on to number one. Coming in at number one. The cream of the crop. Some of you guys might get mad at me for saying this, but I'm going with the shake change. That's right, the simple shake change that is the first color change that every magician learns. The reason I'm going with this is because it's an absolute fail safe, and what you have to realize when you're performing magic is that spectators will react the same to you doing a shake change, to you doing some complex thing you learned off of a $20 purchase download and spent four months practicing. In the end, you're still just changing a card. So, sometimes the most popular, most basic one is the best for you to keep using. Now, personally, I actually like to use the shape shifter change, which is pretty much the same as the shake change, which is why I'm including it here, but it happens more instantaneously. Now, I would say I'm really about 100% on that move, and I do it all the time to do color changes for my spectators. When I'm doing Magic Live, it's pretty much the only color change I use. Now, what's even better about putting this at number one is sometimes you're in the position where you have to do magic with someone else's deck of cards. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen someone else's deck of cards, but man, it basically looks like biodegraded dirt. And you might think, what kind of sled of hand can I do with this garbage? You can do the shape change. It is old reliable, it is old faithful, and if you don't know it, it's very simple. You gotta learn it right now. I'll leave a link to it in the description, and I would recommend also learning the shape shifter. It's kind of the more advanced version of it, and I do it all the time. Sometimes, doing the simple thing will get the best results, the most reliable, and I'm serious when I say, people will react the same to you doing a shake change than to you doing the REL shake variation times two behind the back corner grip. All right guys, that's my video on our top five color changes that every magician must know. If you completely disagree with me and hate my guts, please leave a comment down below so I can uh, have a calm, quiet discussion with you. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you agree with me, leave a comment down below so you can validate my, uh, my self-consciousness. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please toss us a subscription. We are coming in real close on 30,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And I just gotta let you know right now, the storm is coming. So if you don't wanna subscribe now, I'm telling you you should. Because if you don't hop on this, this growing snowball, it's gonna turn to an avalanche. And it will destroy you if you don't subscribe right now. So like, comment, subscribe, and if you're a hog boss like myself, hit that notification button so you never miss another high quality Rise Magic video that I'm filming in my bedroom over spring break. All right, see you next time.